What's up guys, Cody Meyer here. Hey, I wanna give you guys a little pro pointer. Uh, this is coming, going back to my roots, really. You know, growing up in Northern California, fishing the Lake Orvilles, the Shastas, all the spotted bass lakes, and then transitioning into life on the road, on the tour, I've learned some things. But this is something I grew up doing out on the West Coast, and it's throwing, you know, a darter head, um, a little shaky head, you know, owner blockhead, something like this, a little Ned rig. This is what I'm throwing today. But more importantly, it's running a stinger hook. And why is this important? Because growing up, those spotted bass, so many times this bait would be up on the bottom, they come up and they barely grab this tail. And you'd miss those fish and you would think to yourself, man, that was a little bass. Not all the time, this thing will absolutely catch them. I wanna walk through how I rig it up. It's very, very simple. You know, there's a couple ways you could do it, but this is the way that I prefer, and it's very easy. You're gonna take your head here. You know, this happens, like I say, to be a weedless Ned head uh, from owner. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a polymer knot. I'm gonna leave a longer tag in, and I'm gonna take the smallest possible hook you can. You know, I prefer a number four owner mosquito hook, and I'm actually gonna rig it through the bottom of this worm so it's completely weedless. So it's gonna come out through the top. I'm gonna to skin hook it just like you would Texas rig. Now it's completely weedless. Fish don't care about this fluorocarbon line. They don't see that. What they're gonna see is the worm go down. When those you know bigger ones bite the tail, now you have a stinger hook in your worm and you're gonna catch a ton more fish on this deal. Good luck to everyone. I shouldn't have shared this tip, but I did. Now you guys are gonna catch a lot more fish.